Hey guys, my name is Seniac, and welcome back to another episode of Skyhaven, where your boy is building his very own airport still. Things are going really, really well. I've actually started to make some pretty good cash money moolah, and that's all because I've now started accepting passengers at your boy's 1928 airport. Yes, the year is 1928. Uh, the eras are flying through, and before you know it, we'll eventually move away from these propeller planes. But when... I'm not 100% sure just yet. Now, we currently have the schedule set up where we are accepting flights, rocking and rolling. Things are looking pretty good. We've got uh, two stands that are solely accepting passengers. And then we've got four stands. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I can count. Uh, <laughs> accepting cargo. And then we've got two more stands that are solely just on the fly. I accept incoming flights when I can just to kind of earn a little bit of extra money now today we're going to progress it a little bit further with all these stands we are going to be backlogging the runway so i want to see if it's possible to build one a second runway and two try and progress a little bit further to make things a little bit more automated so i can make more money <laughs> now if you are enjoying this series boys make sure you smash that like button down below subscribe if you are new right here so you get notified when more episodes do come out now i'll give you some thought process and is it possible to build another runway uh, the answer is yes uh, i'm not too sure where to put said runway because you're going to be crisscrossing a bunch of other runways you got to kind of stagger them i feel like i need to push this one a bit further down and maybe have one going like this way i don't know how possible that's going to be so what i'm going to do is pause the game and we're going to delete the current runway okay it's going to go hasta la vista baby Building is disabled. Yes. The building is stopped. Wait, can I not delete it? How do I delete the, the how do I delete this? Um How do I delete this? Is there somebody Oh, it's because there's a plane currently using it right now. Right, there we go. That's why, boys. That's why. Hold on. Right, plane's now off. I can now delete. Pause. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. So I could do a standard simple two by two runway but i kind of like the idea of having one diagonal you know what i mean it kind of excites me that does it kind of does now you gotta position it just right it is gonna throw off my whole airport design but if i had one there and then i had for example one here now you might be thinking these are a little bit too close Seniac. these are a little bit too close don't worry because Right, because I'm going to set one to taking off and one for landing. So they shouldn't have any issues. So if I do one this way like that. So because this one goes in that direction, I can use that one as the takeoff. And then this one as the landing. You see where I'm going with this? You see where I'm going, boys? See? Smart, Seniac. Smart. Right, there we go. And then put the ramps on here. So I can't go all the way to the end, so I'll go to about here. Because this is the landing one, right? Well, then again, I could go all the way there. It doesn't really matter. There we go. There we go. And um, let me just sort out the taxiway. So bring it all the way down. Just to there. Bring this one all the way down as well. So we've got the taxiway all up and running. That can connect there just for a hot min. And I think we'll make this connect to here to go into there that to run down to there so they're all intertwined to some degree to some degree now how much does this stick down by this is sticking down by a hundred so if i brought this one down to a hundred as well okay maybe not that much of a hundred and then i'm going to bring this a little bit further up to connect in so we'll first do a connection there and i'm going to bring that to connect into that one as well Reason for it is, right, I'm going to try and switch things around slightly. I'm going to try and turn this little section down here in solely into cargo. And maybe this section over here solely into um, passengers. Now, it is difficult. And I'm going to have to move a lot of things around. And I'm probably going to spend more money than I even have right now. But it's for a good cause, okay? It's for a good cause. So where does this run down to there and then in? 
Right. This airport's got a funky design, and I kind of like it. I kind of like it. So when it comes to the stands, then, spin this right round. Oh, this actually can't go here. So I don't think there is enough space. I actually don't think there is enough space right now. So what I'll do is we'll go back to deleting and delete all of you. And then we'll kind of come back and do it. I might delete that ramp as well. How do I delete the ramp? There we go. So we'll, we'll rejig that in just a moment. So if we get the stands set up. Oh, no. Yep. Yeah, yes. No, maybe so. Like this. Do you reckon that's worth it with this space? I know that's got more of a space. So maybe I put them like this way instead. Yeah, we'll do them here instead. So if I do one there, right? If I then do spin you right round, one there. And I've now decided, and I don't know how I've decided this, but now to completely revamp my whole airport. I don't know how I've decided now this is what I'm going to do. But I, this is now what I'm going to do. Right, build you just there for a second because I'm going to have to now maneuver a lot of stuff. <laughs> Why have I done this? Why have I decided to do this? Uh, grass taxiway to there and then to in. So we're going to move some of these down here just so we can rejig all of this. But this should work somehow. Somehow, boys. Somehow. So, we need to get the ramp back on. But then again, do we need that ramp? Yeah, because you never know when they're going to be taking off. You never know ultimately when they're going to be taking off. So, it just kind of makes sense. I don't like how that is not perfectly fit, though. But then again, all this is going to be deleted shortly anyway. So, scrap you off. All right. Uh, taxiway. Right, delete you a bit more. Bulldoze. Right, taxiway to there. To there and in. It's annoying that it's not perfectly aligned. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It will still work. It will still work. Right, there is a lot of craziness now about to go down. There is a lot of craziness now about to go down. So we're going to have to kind of build some extensions on the road network. So go over to here. I'll go down by a 75 and just kind of build this across to a connection there. I don't know why, but there it is. And we're going to start moving a lot of this stuff. So I need to stop it before it finished. Oh, we need we got we need a lot of flights to disappear. We should really do this on the night time, shouldn't we, boys? We should have really done this on the night time. But here we are. Here we currently are, boys. Let's fast forward because night time is not too far away. Night time is not too far away. So once I got it positioned correctly, we should have a very very separate cargo and passenger side to the airport. I could make them utilize. One for taking off and one for landing. Or I could just make them both landing, take off, and then just utilize two runways at once. So we're going to do some fuel training personnel. We'll get that research next. See how far we can kind of get that done. Before they all go home for the, for the day. And they are utilizing my other runway over here. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. It's set to both. So what we're ultimately waiting for is just the day to end in many ways. Uh, I can now move this building, so pause for a quick second. And where did I put that one? I put that one. I, I just, I'm just making it up, aren't I? I'm making it up as I go along. Can you snap these? No, you can't even snap them to the road, which is even more annoying. Does that snap in there? Or am I going to go for this existential crisis right now? I've not been able to connect the roads again. No, that does snap there, which is perfect. Right, just keep you like that for just a minute. Open up this building again. And at least the flights can come back in. Uh, I'll move the ATC tower a little bit later. we got administration building, which I will move this. Just literally next door to it. 
Uh, I got the run and service uh, ramp, the meals, which do need to be moved as well. Because this will be on the passenger side of things. So I'm going to put you just here on, on this side. Open you back up. I'll have a separate service building for the cargo. I can do separate for the fuel as well. Yeah, we can split these. We can definitely split these, but we're technically up and running again. I'm just going to wait for this day to technically end. Oh my, no facility found. Oh no, boys. Oh no. What do you mean no facility found for luggage? There's plenty of facilities around. <laughs> oh no, this is going to cost me a fortune. But just wait for the airport to close and then we can get back on it. We can get back on it, boys. So I should be able to move this, right? If I turn it off and then move. But I can't because we need to delete a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Right, I think it's just best we wait. I think it's best we just wait. I'm trying to push it, but it's just not going to work. Uh, what I can do, though, is the ramps and stuff. We'll get another one in here. So I'll get you just there. And then we'll kind of align them all coming off that. We could, if I wanted to, keep building a few more here. So one there. One just there. And then we have to rejig all of this network and area as well. This can now officially be moved. So I'll put you just here. I can move this one, right? If I turn it off, I can move it. There we go. And we are waiting for these planes to disappear. It is all done. We've researched the extra re oh, release airliner. Am I missing something? Is it missing? Fa oh, failed. It all, it's all failed. But it's going. Release airliner. Release airliner. Release. I feel like I've messed all the planes up right now with all the stuff I've kind of got rid of. But that's okay. That's okay right now. It's okay. So it is coming to the evening where we can now start changing some things. Which is all good. So with nothing now landing, I don't think. We're going to now pause. We're going to now pause. So let's just delete all these extra roads that I don't really technically need right now. All right, let's get you to there. Very good, very good, very good. Uh, that's going to connect to here, which I probably don't need the connection to here. We're going to turn this off and then move it. Bam. going to turn this off and then move it. Or maybe not. Can I put it over this side instead? Do you know what? I might just delete it. Yeah. Why not? Why not? So let's work this out then. We've got one, two, three, four. Four ramps right now. I've got to delete this. This is what's in the way. Which will be then five ramps for passenger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do I really want that many for cargo? I mean, I wouldn't complain. I wouldn't complain. It's it's easy money. It is easy money. And I'm thinking, is it worth it? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we do six of each. Six of each. That'll work out. Right, why would this one not connect right now? It says what wrong location. Right, I'll delete you. Maybe there's just something wrong with me trying to place it down. No, wrong location? What do you mean? Wrong location right now. Right, taxiway. Bam. Bam. Why can't I get that in there? Right, 
Right, there we go. That was weird, wasn't it? That was weird. Well, that's running down to there. This now needs to get into there and then run down here. Which will have a connection there and there. That's a road that will maybe go up and connect. And I might do another one. So where's this running right now? This additional taxiway? All right, delete it back a bit. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan with this transition. You know what I mean? I'm not a fan of it. It's a shame we can't do bends because that will look really nice. Right, I'm going to delete that ramp. I might have to readjust that ramp slightly. So if I just brought that to here for just a second. Oh, that can't connect down to there? No, it actually can't, can it? Nah. Is what it is, right? Is what it is. I mean, I don't really need this. But then again, I can I could just can kind of complete them completely separate because they don't need to share the same area, do they? They don't need to share the same area. So in reality, the ramp, the ramp ramps where it needs to ramp, right? Yeah. Seniac has spoken. Seniac has spoken! So it's two separates. They will be connected via road anyway. So it's not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. So I think then we're ready to rock and roll then, right? We've got six in each. Still plenty of room for expansions. Let's just sort the road network out. So the road network goes to there. We'll bring this also across a bit more and connect to there to there. We'll bring this across, and where can I get this bam, to maybe connect in like that? Uh, this road network bam, no. It's all good. You're trying to transition. over and you're trying to make everything connect and it just doesn't want to that's the real difficulty but you got to do stuff like that to make it actually work so it does what it needs to do very good very good very good we'll now get the main road running down here so i don't like how this road here technically connects it's kind of on an awkward bend But I suppose it is what it is, right? It is what it is. Can I, like, readjust it? Or is that how it is? That is how it's going to be. Awkwardly. Awkwardly. Right. Bring this connection into there. Just to kind of short it. We'll bring this going down to here for just a minute and we'll kind of create the little shortcut going through just there so easy access for all the road yeah and then we'll turn off this cargo building we'll move the cargo building so we'll have cargo just here actually no we'll have the cargo just here more of a central location we've then got the refueling which I'm going to turn this off and delete it now, this is the larger one, right? Yeah. 
So if I turn this off and move this one, it's got 8,000 capacity. And I put that building on the inside. Actually, I move this on the inside as well. So fuel. We'll have fuel just for these guys. And then we'll have the service as well. Which I put down on this side. Just for these guys. And then over here, we've got the meal facility is what we need. We then need the facilities for the large refueling. We then need the ramp service, which I'll put just next to you. And we don't need cargo. So the annoying thing is right now, we now have to determine what's what. This is 13. Can you, you have to give them names? We'll give them names like, like, pass, like cargo one and pass one. So we'll, we'll first get set up the cargo side of it all. So if I unlink, un, unlink all the buildings, right? Unlink all the buildings, turn it back on. Unlink all the buildings, turn it back on. And then we'll give these all names. So we'll start, we'll start, hmm. We'll start here and we'll call this, we'll rename it. Is it not gonna, why is it not typing? You can't type anything but numbers. That's annoying, isn't it? So if I type in one. Okay. 89. That's annoying. That really is annoying. Right, fine. Rename. I'll call it. Oh, you can do a dash. I'll call it two. No. No. Dash, no. I don't think there's any point renaming them. If you can't rename them like that, there's no point renaming them at all, is there? There isn't, no. Right, so. In demand, we'll do it scheduled flights. It's turned on. And we will link the... Right, we can see these a lot easier. We'll link the fuel station there. We'll link the ramp here. And cargo there. Is it easy to link the buildings themselves? I don't need like to link to those though. That's the, that's the difference. Connect to nearest facilities. You see what I mean? I don't need to go to them. That's not what I want. Now this is going to be scheduled flights only. Turn it back on. Unlink facilities. This is unlinked all facilities as well. Oh, damn it. I've unlinked the wrong ones. Right, fuel, ramp, cargo. Fuel, ramp, <laughs> cargo. Right. Unlink. Fuel, ramp, cargo. Turn it back on. Or in schedule flights. So on schedule flights, unlink first. Fuel, ramp, cargo. On schedule flights, unlink. Fuel, ramp, cargo. And then finally the last one. Fuel, ramp, cargo. Right, that there should be all the cargo ones set up. Okay, that's what we're kind of hoping for. All the cargo is then pretty much done. And then the passenger, passenger's a little bit more extra is the best way to pull it. So we'll start with this one here. And it's scheduled flights. We will then do the gate. Baggage gate. Fuel station. Catering. Ramp service. But it doesn't need cargo. Do you know what's probably easy to do? If I connect it all, and then it tries to go to the cargo over here, but then we...
how do I unlink the cargo from it? Unlink all. Oh, cargo's unlinked. Is it that easy? Is it? It is. Right, okay. We'll come back to them all. So I've just now got to unlink all the cargo to this. Because I don't want cargo on the passenger stands. So I think I'm doing this all right. I'm sure there's an easy way to do this, but this is the way I know. So none of these should have... Yeah, anything going the other way. So six stands. So for refueling, we'll buy a couple of extra parking spots. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's probably way too many, but I've got six. Okay. Wooden service ramp. We'll buy a vehicle. Oh, I'm going to run out of money. <laughs> I'm going to run out of money. I think I'm okay then to technically start accepting flights at this point. I want to say that I've got it all sorted, but I feel like I'm still probably missing something. But they seem to have all their facilities, which is the main thing. Now on the scheduler, we've lost all of our flights right now for scheduling. So I'm going to have to redo it. We're going to have to redo it. So let's go by... Right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It's all going to be scheduled. We'll just see how far we can take all this. So we'll arrive on the next day. So this is a baggage one. Tells us what we need. We, we really do need to rename them in order. Right, we're going to rename them in order. So what I'll do is I'll name the cargo ones after 50. So if I call this... Uh, 50. Right. And then I call this one 51. And then this one uh, 52. Oh, no, 52. And then this one. No, that's 35. 53. <laughs> uh, edit. 54. And then this should be the last one, 55. So six of them done. Starts at 50. All the way to 55. And then these should be named one, two. So that's one. That's two. That's 13. But it should be three. Uh, this is 12, but should be four. This is 10, but should be five. This is nine, but should be six. Okay, so when it comes to the scheduling then, because they're in order of numbers. So all the ones there. And then cargo after. So I want... If I do no cargo first. Brings up all my baggage ones. And um, we also know when it wants to come in, depending on the color of it, right? So, if you do this just right, you want morning slots first. So, anything with a morning slot, we'll go with first. So, can't put that there, but then we start the next one. And then these are like evening slots. And another evening. Yeah, we've got it down. But the mad thing is, we can now start accepting so many flights. So if I scroll down a bit and then now go for the ones that contain cargo. Oh, 
Oh, wait. I didn't press accept. Oh, good God. Right, let's start that again. You gotta love this game at times. Um, right. Bam. What is it? This one? Yeah. Confirm that. Nice. Now we're on to cargo flights. Which, these can come at all times of the day. So you're not, you're not worried about that. And I do seem to have quite a few cargo flights. Now, I could potentially walk into having the busiest day of my life when it comes to making money with the amount of planes that I can get landing. So that's all the flights for now. Can definitely sign more contracts, which is glorious. Definitely sign more contracts. So what am I now missing? We've got the cargo, we've got the fuel, which is important, but do we have enough vehicles? I feel like I might have one too many vehicles on the refueling over here, so I might move one of you to over there, right? Have we got the space? Yeah, I'm gonna we can actually take a fourth one. So there's four there, and then there's four in here. Cargo warehouse, we've got three vehicles. It might be okay and enough. The ramp should... Well, there's one there, but we'll, we'll have to edit them and change them as we go along. So I ain't got the money right now. I've got one there for the meal. I've got one there for the service. I've got two for the passengers, two for the baggage, but we're definitely going to need more. But I need big money to upgrade them. All right, get rid of these notifications. So I think I'm ready to now open the airport back up. And we've now split the passenger and the cargo. And they have their own facilities as well. Oh, dear God, boys. Let's fast forward. So, oh, hold on. Do I have any... Wait, until it's been exceeded. Dismiss. I don't have any... No ramp. So how do I change this where I'm no longer accepting? It's in my schedule, isn't it? To no longer accept on demand. Right, dismiss. Right, there's a lot of issues going on right now. There is a lot of issues, but hopefully we can get through it. Hopefully we can get through it right now. So what is the main issue? No facility being found. What facility are you requesting? Disembarkment, unload. Well, they're good to go for, yeah? Oh, were these the planes that were going to come anyway before I kind of messed up my whole airport? I think so. We'll get them out of here real quick. <laughs> we'll get them out of here. And hopefully the next day solves everything. Hopefully the next day does solve everything. But I do need to accept some more contracts. So we can also research something new. Airplane services, advanced drivers. We can get some new baggage and stuff. I don't want to go down that road just yet because it means me spending more money. Uh, passenger services. Stair mountain is a good one, but we'll wait out a little bit. Sky caps. Rewards, sky caps. Airport personnel who help passengers carry their luggage and board buses faster. Okay, we'll get that researched. We'll get that researched. Right, I think we might have our delivery of fuel come on the night, because we do have it recurring, don't we? Uh, in my contract... Is it my fuel management? We do have a... A contract signed. I believe, right? Do we still have it? Yeah, the fuel's coming in right now. So it delivers 280. Obviously, we don't always need 280, but apparently it's cheaper to get this delivered than do anything else. All right, large barrel stock. They don't... It combines it all, doesn't it? The, the overall supply of the fuel. 
So that's cargo, by the way. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. I was looking at fuel, wasn't I? I was looking at fuel. Will I fall? Will I fall? So warehouse, supply. So I get a delivery volume coming in every 24 hours of 280. That's perfect. We should maybe think about doing the same thing for fuel. So contracts, window. How do I do it for the fuel? It's here, isn't it? Yeah. So instant, 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 flexible. I don't have the money to get any fuel delivery either, do I? Yes. Yeah, so I'm just going to hold out. We'll just wait right now. We'll just wait. And we'll try and get to the next uh, day. It's a shame we can't have that kind of coming... You know, like, not in the middle of the night. You know what I mean? All right, get rid of these notifications. And hopefully, the next day happens with no issues. But I can't believe how much I've separated it. Now, there is a chance that they use these guys. Th these guys over here use this runway, but you're kind of hoping that the game has a logic where they use to lies the closest runway. So planes are landing, which is pretty good. I am in a little bit of debt right now. So is it possible to sign some more contracts? Now, I can only sign contracts of stuff that I'm able to do. Flight checks, luggage, boarding, fueling. I can definitely do that for the international uh, Braniff flights. Oh, sign the planes to what I can. Any more I can sign? Not yet, but on my scheduling right now, I should be able to get some more flights up and running. And we should have no issues. All right, there we go. Confirm that. A few extra flights right now to pay the bills. It just feels like now it feels like it's running really smooth. Now it does feel like it's running really smooth. But it's just making sure that we have enough baggage and luggage and you know, all that kind of jazz for over here. This is the thing that's going to slow us down for the passenger side of things. So we'll upgrade in front of a parking spot there and buy another vehicle, which is $300, which I do not have at the moment. So we're waiting on that to kind of come in. Almost there, boys. Bam. So a third vehicle right now which can help with loading of... Was it baggage or passenger? That was loading of the baggage. And then we'll save up for then the passenger side of it then next. So any more contracts, boys? I can sign a few more contracts. Get back to the scheduling. Wrong place. What is? Oh, this is cargo. Oh, I've signed some cargo contracts. Oh, I ain't going to say no to that, boys. We do love a cargo contract. i got to be I gotta be careful while I'm signing right now. So this is passenger-based. All right, I signed a load of passenger contracts there. And back up again, making sure that we get these all in the right spot. All right, pause while we do it. So, in the morning, in the morning, evening, that can be split. There we go. Comfort. So, we'll eventually find our balance. We will eventually find the balance and get things rocking, moving, and a shaking. But I think we're going to make some good money right now. I feel like now we're starting to kind of break the ground into telling people and making people understand in 1930, this is the future. This is how aviation is going to work. I feel like we are, we're, we're breaking ground right now. I feel like we are. Right, we're going to get this researched as well, by the way. And... I still don't quite understand how the upgrades work. 
are they instant? Like, you know, like we're researching like this, for example, skycaps. Uh, it's a boost and speed up. Does it automatically apply? Does it automatically apply to um, to whatever we kind of get done? I'm assuming it does. What's going on with this? Done, 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 done. Why can we not? Why is the airline not going? Oh, now it's going. Okay, fine, fair enough. So extended porter liftings. That's seven hours. Kerosene lamps. Fuel in them. It adds performance and boost of like that, that, doesn't it? Um, I'd like to know when you can get like longer flight stuff. Office furniture is a boost for workflow speed up. We'll get that done to eventually get the airport management building as well. Right, so more contracts then we need to assign. And we'll see what we can sign. So that's an all day. -er. That's a evening. All day. -er. All day. -er. So in the schedule. Always pause when we do it because it kind of just disappears very quickly. There. There. We'll go for you on the evening. Right, I'm now maxed out with all of my passenger planes, okay? I can't get any more passenger planes. I don't have enough stands, and I ain't got enough hours in the day. <laughs> there is space left for cargo, though. So if I go down the cargo route... So what's a car... Where's my cargo again? Domestic oval air cargo. And we'll assign a bunch here right now. So how many do you reckon? Okay, I, I'm limited to that anyway. So I get all you in. Bam, 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 bam. So in reality, I can sign three more cargo contracts. And that's what I can do in reality. And that should eat into my cargo supply. It's exciting, isn't it? It is exciting. It would be nice to have a few flights on the fly coming in. That would be nice. But as a proper, you know, airport of the future, they sent too bad. Bit questionable with how the runways are, but it ain't too bad, boys, okay? It ain't too bad right there. So we're just waiting a bit more. Get some more money coming in. Because I need to get the additional passenger vehicle because that does slow us down on the passenger side but it's very expensive it's like three and a half grand plus then you gotta buy the vehicle refueling's all okay it's just it's just the passenger side it's the buses but another day should shortly come to an end right very good very good, very good, very good, very good. Very good. So the research is going pretty sweet. I'm interested to find out what money we made because I've spent so much cash. I've spent unreal amounts of cash right now. We'll fast forward. Uh, new contracts were unlocked uh, for companies Sabina, uh, Braniff, and Royal Aviation Company. Nice. So I only need three more cargo contracts, but I don't know if I can get... Oh, I can. One, two, three. So we made 19 grand. Oh, we sp okay. Apparently we made a profit somehow. I mean, we was in debt on the previous day. So there is that side of it. So scheduling the window right now, we can put these three now in. And now we are busy. I can't get any more scheduled flights. We're completely all scheduled up, boys. We are completely all scheduled up. Why is my fuel not going down? Are we even refueling at this point? I haven't really been paying attention much.
No refueling services is it's it's requesting. No refueling. No refueling. Are we, wait, hold, wait, what? Oh, are none of these flights requesting any fuel? They are not. Okay, so, okay. That's a shame. So it means I'm not making any money on the refueling side of things because none of these flights are requesting fuel. That's annoying, if anything. That is annoying. Um, airport services. Let's see right now. So we'll go for the advanced driving. Or we can get larger vehicles. But then again, we've only got smaller... We've got small planes, so it doesn't really mean much right now. No one's really wanting any fuel right now, so we'll hold out for that. Bus operations. It would give us newer buses. Stairway mountain. Will that work for propeller planes? I'll research it and just see what happens. So we'll be able to get the, the new parking space then. And the additional bus. So now we can do free free planes or free flights at once right now with the uh, the bus to them. And I think that will be okay for now. That should be sufficient enough. It should be sufficient enough. It's a shame that nobody really wants any refueling. It's weird that is, isn't it? It is weird. In terms of the contracts you can kind of sign... Wait, do the wait. Hold on. No, it doesn't want any fuel. There's not like a section where you gotta say that you're open for fuel, right? I just find it weird how nobody now all of a sudden wants any fuel. They're open and operational. Well, you know what, fuel. Weird, isn't it? It is weird. But there's another part of me right now that kind of wants to build. Like an additional... Stand or two. That I can utilize. Would it fit in here? That I can utilize to kind of get something a little bit extra coming in. So if I, this would be my little test run right now. If I connected you to here, right? Sweet, sweet, sweet. Connected up to all facilities, and then we could literally just get. Grass taxiway. Literally just get whatever flights we want coming in. So if I open up for on demand. And then here is the flights we can accept. Some of these do require refueling. So can I accept you? No, we don't have everything for you. But if I accepted you right now, we then should see that plane not only come in and land... But also, get the refueling, which it is, which earns us a few extra pennies. Yeah. So we can do refueling. It's just amazing me how none of these are wanting refueling. Is that just pure stroke of luck that none of these flights that I've selected wanted refueling? Because all of these want refueling. So what's going on? I've lost my mind. I don't know what's going on right now. If anyone knows, please let me know in the comment section down below why all of a sudden nobody wants refueling. If I've missed something, 
that I'm an I'm a folio, but I feel like I haven't. So if I was to sign another contract, for example, Banif, we have a plane here that does require fueling as optional. But it comes up here that it there's, doesn't then want any refueling. You see what I mean? Hold on, they don't want any catering either. But then again, that was for international flights only. Why all of a sudden they don't want any of my stuff? The stand can have refueling. And it can have catering. Anyone know why? Have I have I missed the building? I feel like I've missed the building somewhere and not realized it. You know what I mean? I feel like I have and I just don't realize it. It's kind of funny. It is kind of funny. All right, accept another flight because now the money's rolling in. Now the money really is rolling in, boys. And we are starting to use more cargo. Which is a good sign. But we just got to play the waiting game. And we're utilizing the fuel anyway with these um, additional flights that we're accepting. But another day over. A new dawn has ended. And we're rocking and rolling. We are rocking and rolling. But we got to start thinking about what the next expansion for the company is going to be for our airport. What road are we running down? Um, not too sure just yet. Uh, Tarmacadam Paven. Oh! Tarmac Taxiway and Road. That's a huge progression. That really is a huge progression. It then goes and eventually unlocks a Tarmac Runway as well. Office work. The management building is a building. Uh, improve the efficiency, new equipment, more desk jobs, clerks get cared for. So I'm assuming this is then so I can then maybe hire more people to do the research for me. Could be a possibility. So, yeah, there's lots of ways in which we can improve this, in which we can rock and roll this right now. But the airport truly has been upgraded. If you enjoyed this, boys, smash a like, put it down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So good. Oh, bye.